So we're going to take a look at some of the reports that really make a difference uh, now for us in MAP that we have a lot of longitudinal data since we've been doing it for several years. So we're going to come over to View Reports and click on Map Growth Reports. And then once we get into Map Growth Reports, there's a whole bunch of different options. Often we have shown you the class report. That's the one that you're used to looking at. We want to make sure you know about the student profile. So I say it looks like a rainbow. We're going to click into that one. And we have some student information in there. You just use the pull downs to change your school. And then you click view student profile. You end up on the math tab because it's first and it's blank. And you say, oh, I want some data. So you click over onto the reading tab and then you scroll down. Uh, you can see out over here their growth and their achievement for that student. But this is where the real beauty is in this longitudinal picture. So we can see that this student has had growth entirely and they've just um, been solid on those map tests and they've been getting better and better. So we can see this is a student who clearly has growth. That's not this, the case for everybody. And this is where the power of the student progress longitudinal data really comes in. If we take a look at this student, we can see that they've had a bumpy ride with the map test and reading. And all of a sudden, though, they've started to make some really serious gains. If we hover over any of these data points and click on it, we get um, the RIT score, the time they took the test, their percentages, um, some other data there. So you can click on any of those comparative dots. Uh, let's look at this one. Here we have a student who has a peak. And so we see that typically they're in this average yellow area. And so we ask ourselves, um, what was happening with that peak? Was that a really good test day for them? Um, is that their actual score? And they really tried hard that day. And the rest of the time, they just kind of dogged the test and end up in this yellow average zone. So something to look for as you are um, looking at your results for that student. This student is kind of the opposite, aren't they? Um, they've had pretty good solid reading as a start. And then we can see that they've had a decline. And even when they're leveling out, they not, they're not where they used to be. So is this just a student who's um, you know, going through maybe that junior high mindset and finding it hard to convince himself that they need to do this test? Anytime we see a real um, dip like this, it doesn't mean that their reading's gotten worse. It just means that that day on that particular test, uh, this one, only took 33 minutes, for example, and the tests over here, oh, 35. So that's about the same for that student. That's something we can look at is the time. But obviously, there's something going on this day where the student probably didn't take the test as seriously. And then we can see here is another student that um, they started off as average, and they have grown themselves all the way up to the high category. So whatever interventions or supports the students is, are getting, or whatever the um, strategies the teachers are using in this class are really working. So this is the student progress report. You navigate in the top corners, there's little arrows, there's also a pull down student by student, and this gives you a great student look.